What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and the New York fraud trial of Donald Trump is set to be the scene of an awkward family reunion for the first week of November. Halloween trick-or-treaters may be gone, but Donald Trump is set to get his biggest bag of surprises yet. There's a new development to tell you about in the $250 million civil trial against ex-president Donald Trump and his company and his family. Today, Judge Ngoron ruled that the former president's daughter, Ivanka, does have to testify in this case. The Honorable Arthur N. Garon, the judge in Donald Trump's $250 million fraud case, has ordered Ivanka Trump to testify in her father's fraud trial. Trump's eldest daughter will have to take the stand, along with her two dimwit brothers, Eric and Don Jr. Ivanka's lawyers had challenged the subpoena issued by the New York Attorney General on the basis that an appeals court this summer ruled Ivanka should not be a defendant due to the statute of limitations. But... Judge Ngoron sided with New York Attorney General Letitia James, who had said in a court filing this, quote, while no longer a defendant in this action, she indisputably has personal knowledge of facts relevant to the claims against the remaining individuals and entity defendants. But even beyond that, Ms. Trump remains financially and professionally intertwined with the Trump Organization and other defendants and can be called as a person still under their control. Reporters will be there to document all of the Trump chickens coming home to roost. It's not likely to be a happy scene. They will have to testify under oath. And what that means is they're going to have to tell the truth or turn on each other. Ivanka has been fighting like hell not to testify. Her lawyers argued that she had been given immunity for previous testimony and was protected under the statute of limitations, but Judge Ingram wasn't buying it. He denied her legal team's appeal. She will have to drag her entitled backside into court and testify against her father and brothers. Ivanka was given immunity for testimony that she gave before the House Select Committee that was investigating the January 6th attack. How did that affect your perspective about the election when Attorney General Barr made that statement? It affected my perspective. Um, I respect Attorney General Barr. Um, so I accepted what he said, was saying. Ivanka's testimony incriminated her father. It had been reported that she tried to convince her father to call off the rioters, but he refused. That takeaway was that Donald was waging a war against the United States and his own daughter couldn't stop him. Donald had slammed the committee for going after his daughter's testimony. He called it shame and harassment on the talk show circuit. What is he going to think when his little princess takes a stand and throws him under the bus? She's done it before and will likely drive the final nail into her daddy's legal coffin next week. The truth is that the three Trump children know everything about the Trump Organization's dirty dealings. Ivanka is financially intertwined with the Trump Organization and she's going to have to answer for it. The three Trump children are going to have to account for their roles in alleged financial fraud. They will either have to incriminate themselves or flip on daddy and blame him for making them do it. It is probably going to be the family reunion from hell. There's no loyalty amongst these and all the Trump family drama will be played out on television and laptops around the world as they turn on each other. The question that many have been asking is how long is it going to take Donald Trump to come out swinging on his own daughter, especially if she reveals something damning. Many of Trump's main lawyers, the kookiest ones, have now all admitted they committed various crimes. Uh, and so, you know, I agree with Barbara that I think initially the cross-examination and the direct examination, the cross-examination by Trump uh, of Ivanka and the two sons will be friendly. But, you know, Ivanka's already provided some testimony against uh, her father, and it wouldn't shock me if there's a lot more to come. And so the real question to me, picking up on John Heilman's, you know, two words, two definitions of family, is how long is it going to take Donald Trump to attack his own daughter if, as I suspect, she reveals damaging information about him. The Trump Organization was a group of about 500 business entities to which Donald Trump was the owner. The organization had been convicted of tax fraud felonies in order to dissolve all of their New York LLCs. Another big question is, will Donald Trump even show up? Donald hasn't been mandated to be at the proceedings. He's even been fined for violating the gag order that he was under when he tried to intimidate Michael Cohen during his testimony. He has attempts to rattle the former lawyer failed. It was Donald Trump that rushed out of the courtroom because he got frustrated and butt hurt. Will the trial turn into a media circus? Although fireworks are expected for Eric and Don Jr.'s day in court, the most anticipated moment will be when Ivanka Trump has to take the stand. Will Ivanka be exposed for benefiting from Chinese trademarks while raking in hundreds of millions on a government salary? We can only hope. She's between a rock and a hard place. She's already flipped on daddy once, and she will do it again, most definitely. 
She's been trying to get out of testifying too. She knows that she's going to have to tell the truth or be heavily penalized. If she lies under oath, it will most likely jeopardize the immunity agreement that she made with prosecutors in the January 6th case. Ivanka Trump is basically being forced to tell the truth and she doesn't want any part of it. She is going to have to choose between her freedom or her father's freedom. She's going to have to answer some tough questions and she's going to have to tell the truth or face perjury charges. This is set by the very bad week for Donald Trump. The Trump house of cards is about to fall. While Donald decides on whether or not to attend the trial or not, he is facing the possibility of not being on the ballot in 14 states and other legal action. As Donald is preparing for his upcoming family for you, a trial began in Colorado that could disqualify him from even being on the state's ballot. If other states follow suit, there's no possible way that the lonesome loser could ever pull out a win. The evidence is stacked against Donald Trump, and it's not because he's been picked on. He's facing the rest of his life in prison because he's a con man criminal. The Trump Organization was his crime syndicate, and he's about to be exposed in court. Don Jr. is scheduled to testify on November the 1st, Eric on the 2nd, and Ivanka on the 3rd. All three's testimony will be recorded before Donald has to take the stand on November the 6th. Will there be any shocking developments that change Trump's legal storyline? Probably not. Because Donald Trump's lawyer opted for a bench decision, the judge makes the final decision. Donald is clearly guilty in the case and will be found guilty. All of his shenanigans have been for show. Judge Ingeron knows exactly what he's doing, and in the end, it will not be a positive outcome for Donald Trump. And these clowns have the nerve to call everyone else criminals. It's pathetic, and that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.